Welcome back, guys. El Fuego here for WildPetBattle.com. Continuing our WOD showcase, up next, it's Eleanor the Super Goat. This fight brings back some of the old WildPetBattle.com strategies. This time, it's the Spider Burn with a new twist. We're going to start with the Swamp Croaker's Bubble. This is going to give us two rounds of mitigation while she charges her ability. Next, we're going to get that Swarm of Flies debuff ticking on her to kind of negate the amount of healing that she does each round. And once those two debuffs are up, we're going to switch into our Stitched Pup. Stitched Pup is great here for a few reasons. Number one, he has a strong attack flurry against the undead. Secondly, he has a guaranteed howl uh, once his racial goes off and he gets one additional round. And third, he has that Plagued Blood, which is going to allow a little bit of health to tick onto the spider when we swap into it. And there's that racial popping, so we got one additional round from here. Uh, we're going to use Howl, and that's going to apply a two-round 100% increase in damage. That's going to amplify the Spider Swarm coming up. And with the Stitched Pup down, we'll swap right into our Crystal Spider. I chose the Crystal Spider for the Crystal Prism, uh, but you don't really have to use it. It's nice to just kind of stop him from what he's doing with that Crystal Prism. But uh, the first round is going to be Brittle Webbing. And as you see the debuffs up top there, we got one round left with that Howl applied. And Eleanor is just going to sit there and I guess take 1300 damage to the face with our Spider Burn. One of the changes you can make here if you don't have a Stitched Pup is any Fox. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can use Dazzling Dance followed by an attack and then your Howl. And as the Swamp Croaker comes back in, you'll notice he has one round left of that bubble debuff. It actually soaks two attacks. Uh, they don't have to be in succession, as you just saw. So wait for it to get used and then re-up it first. And then you can move right into either Tongue Lash or continue with Swarm of Flies. Either way, uh, we're going to activate her racial, which is coming up right now. And all that's really left to do now is just to dance around Eleanor until her racial wears off. Uh, that frog still has that second bubble up and has not been touched the entire time. And as it wears off, Eleanor gets owned! And that completes the Eleanor Strategy Guide. Check our channel for updates. We're always creating new content. I'm El Fuego for WildPetBattle.com.